Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to take a look at the Wall Eversharp Deco Band. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look first at the box the Wall Eversharp Deco Band comes in. Uh, it's quite a large box, uh, larger than probably any, any other pen on the market, uh, I'll give it that. It's a, it's a very, very large box. Um, kind of hard to tell the scale uh, in the image, but you'll see it soon enough. It's very large, um, very deep, big, big box. Um, and I'm going to open it up here. And it is a, it's a very nice presentation. Um, it has this nice, beautiful black. piano lacquer, lacquered box, um, and inside the box um, we can see we've got the Wall Eversharp logo on the top here, and we've got a number of things in here. Um, pen comes with a uh, antioxidant pen storage sleeve called Neva Fade. It comes with a pneumatic filler knob gripper, uh, which you can use to help undo and redo the pneumatic filler knob, uh, which can be tight. You've got um, guarantee information, how to fill your pen. Over here, we've got a bottle of ink that's snug and tight in there. Uh, at the bottom here, Deco Band Vintage Collection. And underneath this little piece of bubble wrap here, we have the pen. So, uh, all this box, and here is the pen. The pen is a monster. So, I'm going to set the bo box aside, and we're going to take a look. Now, there are three different... Um, styles available and we've got on the left the lapis blue marble which is a very very pretty color um, really really neat neat material uh, we'll get into the specific of each pen here in a minute uh, the rosewood which is an ebonite, very, very distinctive. Uh, it looks very much like a vintage wall pen. And of course, you've got your standard black. So those are the three. Let's take a look at the features of the pen. It is a large pen. Um, it sits, you know, it's quite lengthy in my hand. Uh, we've got the wall. On the cap here, the wall double check logo, wall ever sharp on the clip. We've got a roller clip, which makes it uh, nice to get into your pocket. And we've got a triple cap band configuration here uh, with a Greek key pattern on the middle, larger pattern or larger band in the middle. Um, give you a nice little bit better close-up of the material here. Uh, the top is black, kind of ends off in a, a black with a gold ring on either side here. Uh, we'll talk about this in a minute. We've got a little hole there and the filler, the pneumatic knob is ribbed. I'm going to open this up. We've got metal threads in a black section, um, a gold trim band here at the edge of the, the section, and you have this very large, unique nib here, uh, super flex, it's got a matte finish on it, and 14 karat, and it is a, it is a, a flex nib, and we'll see that in a little bit. Uh, I have 
an ebonite feed that has a uh, red Rushi lacquer on it. Very distinct, distinct look. And you'll also notice right here, it's a split feed. And you can see it better here. It splits here, which allows when you're flexing the pen to keep some of that feed with the nib as it flexes. So you get a better flow with the pen, with this feed. Uh, filling system on this is pneumatic filling. But let's, uh, let's take a close up of the rosewood here, which is the pen we are gonna be using for the, the test. Um, really a neat, neat pattern. And of course, if you like ebonite, it does smell like hard rubber, just like a vintage pen. Nice looking pen. This one really sets off nice with the black section. And of course your classic black. And they do post. Um, like I say, it's a, it's a long pen. Just to show you in the hand, it's quite thick. And we'll do some comparisons with some uh, some other large pens in a little bit, um, just to give you an idea. Um, it's, it's, it's quite large. Posted, um, uh, unless you have really large hands, you may not need to do this posted, uh, but it's, uh, and it's got some weight to it too, so. Let's look at the pneumatic filling. It's a very neat filling system. And you have this thin knob. Now, if you can't, it's, it's got a little knurled edge there. If you can't get it, uh, you can use the, the little grip pad that's included with the pen. But after you get it loose the first time, it seems to be fairly easy to get open. And we open that. And on the filler tube, we have while ever sharp engraved and underneath that we are writing history and so essentially this works similar to a Schaefer touchdown or snorkel with one exception you're going to want to hold your finger over that that hole there as you push down so uh, we're going to uh, do a little writing sample and ink this up and, uh, and we'll see how it works. Let's take a look before we do that at some of the other pens that you may be familiar with just to kind of get a, uh, a gauge for the size of this pen. I know sometimes in a video it's difficult to, to make a comparison. I have three of the largest pens uh, in my personal collection. Um, modern pens and on the left I have the Mont Blanc 149 uh, to the right of the deco band the Sailor Pro Gear King of Pen and on the far right here the Omos the modern Paragon um, as you can see they're all very similar in girth I think the deco band wins the girth contest um, maybe the Omos can can battle for a length, but uh, this is a very large pen. If you have large pens, you, hands, you desire a large pen, this, uh, this could be the pen for you. Um, let's take a look at the nib sizes. Compare them. There's the king of pen. Pretty close, but Paragons are going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. And usually the winner in the large nib competition is the 149. 
um, we're pretty close. So that kind of gives you an idea where it fits size-wise with some of the other large pens. Um, I, what I don't have here is a Sailor 1911 uh, King of Pen, which is going to be a little bit longer than the, the 149, um, just by a hair. Uh, Girth-wise, these are all, they're fairly close. Uh, Pro Gear King of Pen is a little more tapered, as is the, uh, the Mont Blanc. Um, but all, all very large pens. So let's fill this and then we can do a writing sample. And we're going to look at the, the Superflex nib. Uh, the pen also does come with an option for a semi-flex nib. I think most people are probably interested in the Superflex nib, but um, I'm going to use an old bottle of um, Visconti Bordeaux for this. I think it might have some good shading to it, um, but also because it has a very tall bottle. And I'm just going to hold my finger on there. And I'm going to hold it in the ink for a little bit. You saw the bubbles come out. <clears throat> and dip it off. Grab a towel to clean it off with here. Probably don't need to post it, and I think for most people you might not. Um, but let's uh, let's take a look and see. This is uh, this is actually my first time inking this pen up, so um, this will be a good test. Using very little pressure on this, and I'm really getting a, a nice. It's a solid medium. I think if you can do, if you use light pressure, you're going to you get a nice fine line. Um, start to use apply some pressure here, and we do get some. Nice line variation there. Use normal pressure, it's gonna come out kind of like a, a medium. It does uh, it does have a nice, nice wet feel to it. Um, See what we can do as far as flexing is concerned, and you can see it. It's pretty. It's pretty rich on the paper, and let's see how fast it can. Uh, it can keep up here. And it keeps up really nice. Now the only thing, I lifted it off the paper there, so. Really, uh, and I'm looking at it here, and I, you know, I haven't, I haven't pressed too hard, and uh, it's definitely, you know, sometimes you have to worry about some nibs, like they say, you can only flex them once. Um, this is definitely uh, holding up to the pressure, and really, really gets a nice broad there, kind of a solid medium there, but. Uh, Overall, very uh, very nice performance. The Wall Eversharp Deco Band.
So there we have it, the wall, Eversharp, Decoban. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com at our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide.